Hello and welcome to this WP Zoom video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up the social icons widget by WP Zoom. Now I've already installed the widget and you can do this just by going to plugins, add new, doing a search for social icons widget, and then making sure to select social icons widget by WP Zoom. Install and activate the plugin and then head to appearance and then widgets and you'll get to this screen that I'm on now. This is the WordPress widget page and on your left you're going to find available widgets and on the right you'll find areas of your site you can drag and drop onto. Here I'm using a WP Zoom WordPress theme but this will be very similar depending on which theme you're using. You just might have fewer uh, widget areas on the right hand side than I've got here. So I'm going to scroll down and find social icons by WP Zoom and drag and drop this onto the widget area I want this to display in. So I want this on the sidebar so I'm going to drag and drop. You see, I can expand this and collapse it and drag and drop to move that around as well. So let's put that at the top of the widget area and now you'll see we get to the settings. I'm going to add a title here. So I'll say follow me on social. You can add a description, but I'll leave this blank. You have two options here, show icon labels, which you can tick and open links in the new tab, which you can also tick if you want to. You can also choose the icon style. You can click on this drop down to select between color background with a white icon or color icon with no background. Here I'm going to select the color background with a white icon and if I do that you'll see I can choose between um, rounded corners, round or square. You'll see the live preview of the icon changes at the bottom of the screen there. You can also select the icon padding and size in pixels so you can make these bigger or smaller if you'd like. And you also have um, global uh, color options to set for the icons. So you can use this color picker and you'll see if I select that then the live preview of the icon is going to change here and you can set that to any color that you like. So I could set that to um, a dark blue purple there um, and I can also change the hover color. This will be the color that displays when you hover over the icon. So I could set this to one of the defaults or use the HTML hex code um, and I'll set that up if I'd like to and now we've got this um, color hover. We now get onto the items themselves. You can drag and drop these to move them around as well as um, fill in your links here. So here I would add, for example, facebook.com slash WPZoom or twitter.com slash WPZoom or instagram.com slash WPZoom. I can delete any I don't want as well as add more by pressing the add more button. You can click on this icon here in order to select between all of the available icons. There are an awful lot of icons available, so you'll be able to find any icon that you want. You can select between different icon kits. So here we've got socio icons. You can also sort down by category here. So if I wanted photography socio icons, um, so we've got 500px, uh, Flickr, Instagram, and so on here, um, I could do that. I can also choose between the different icon sets. So these have different icons available. I can again um, sort by any of these. We've got generic ones as well, and again, um, that's just got the one category that's just um, some regular social icons. And finally, we've got font awesome as well, and you can choose between um, all the different categories for all of the different icons here. That just makes it much easier to find what you're looking for. You can also type to search, and here you'll find um, results from all of the icon kits. So you'll see that I've um, got a couple of different options for Twitter, say. Um, let's say I want to add back in an Instagram. I could choose between the Instagram logo that I want. Let's go for the generic icon one there. We can also individually choose the icon and hover color there. I'm going to save those changes and you'll see the Instagram link is added back in. So I'm just going to add in my Instagram URL. Another nifty feature if you go to add more is that if you start typing, the uh, social icons widget is going to automatically try and work out which social network you are typing which social network you're adding and automatically add in the correct icon. So here if I add in flickr.com you can see that um, that adds in the Flickr logo there. That's just a really nice touch that makes it even easier to use. If you want to add an icon with an email address you can use the mail to function. So I can add in hello at wpzoom.com here. That's going to add in a mail icon. Once you've added an icon you can click on these in order to customize these. So um, I could change that there or delete and so on. Once you're done, you can press save. And if we now have a look at my site, 
um, then we'll have to load up a uh, page that has the sidebar displaying. We now see we've got follow me on social with those links displaying. So that's how you can set up the social icons widget by WP Zoom. You can find out more about the plugin and our WordPress themes at wpzoom.com. Hope this is helpful and thanks very much for watching.